The state in the thick of its bowl game right now against North Carolina State. 12 News reporter Brock Wilson live at Chicken and Pickle tonight where K-State fans gather for a watch party there hoping to see the Cats finish with a win. Good season, Brock. It's almost halftime and the Wildcats are driving, trying to score before the end of the first half. Fans keep pretty quiet until there's a big play or a score. They say the Pop-Tarts Bowl is more than just about finishing the season with a win. Right now, they're getting a glimpse at freshman quarterback Avery Johnson getting his first shot as the full-time starter. Fans have been here at Chicken and Pickle since early this afternoon. The fans for the watch party game uh, started getting here around 3.30. Regardless of the outcome of this game, what I've really been impressed with is the support from these fans. They say they're here for the Wildcats, win or lose. One of the biggest fans here is Ellen Wilson. She came to Wichita all the way from Manhattan to watch the game with her tailgate crew. My husband and his brother are down at the bowl game. Um, they're doing a brother's trip and they're having a great time. And I came down from Manhattan to be with my friends and we're gonna watch the game here and we're gonna win. <laughs> Woo! Go Cats. Go Cats. Ellen is one of several Wildcats fans that are season ticket holders. They came here to watch the game in Wichita. She says it's the next best thing to being in Manhattan, being here with all of her Wildcat friends watching the bowl game. Mike. All right, Brock, thank you. An update on the game. K-State up 14-7 with about a minute left here in the first half, now entering the red zone area. In Orlando, K-State fans packing the stadium with some Purple, lots of Kansas making the trip down to the Sunshine State for K-State's first ever bowl game in Florida and the first game in the state in over a decade for the Cats. We have a crew at the game and they caught up with some fans before it got underway to ask about the experience and what they're looking forward to. I think that it'll be a tough game for both teams. So I'm hoping for a, I'm hoping for a closer, I don't want to blow out. I can't wait to see Avery Johnson play. Uh, that's an easy, none of the Wichita boy, right? And then just uh, see see the newer boys get on the field and see what, what they're up to. I'm pretty excited to see this new team come about. So, yeah.